girls, my name is Ria and I am back here again today to give another three minute live girl history lesson. Today we will be looking at how our Asian sisters were able to finally get their voice in the ballot box. Beginning in the 19th century, immigrants from Asia began coming to the US in hopes of finding work. With the influx of people from foreign countries moving to America, the federal government systematically denied citizenship to all Asian immigrants for centuries which also meant that they were not able to vote. Now, before I continue, I did want to put in a warning for the following images that I'm about to show. They are extremely disturbing in terms of how other races are depicted, and if that's not something you're comfortable with, just skip over it and we can continue on with the lesson. What you're seeing before you is an example of propaganda, which is a strategic and intentional tool used to form certain harmful ideas about a perceived enemy. In this case, the targets happen to fall on Asian immigrants. Artists at the time hoped that by showing this race as a caricature, it would incite fear in American citizens and make them more likely to be on board with wanting to deny Asian citizenship. To rewind a little bit, the Naturalization Act of 1790 only allowed free white citizens of good character to become naturalized. Furthermore, the Chinese Exclusion Act of 1882 prohibited Chinese immigrants from being able to become naturalized citizens. But Ria, what is naturalization? I am so glad you asked that. To put it simply, to be naturalized means you have to be a permanent resident for at least five years, be at least 18 years of age, and choose to become a citizen. However, things did take a turn for the better in 1952, when the federal government granted voting rights to Filipino men who had served three years in World War I. And as a result, the government gradually began to neutralize more and more Asian immigrants. That same year, something called the mccarran Walter Act of 1952 lifted all restrictions on Asian immigrants becoming naturalized citizens. Which in turn meant they were finally able to vote. Furthermore, the Voting Rights Act of 1965, which we talked about last week, if you haven't already, go check out that video to see how black women got their vote, offered further protection to new Asian voters as it prohibited voter discrimination based on race, color, sex, or language barrier. It is thanks to this act that to this day, those who are not able to speak fluent English can have access to translators and ballots in multiple different languages. Thank you so much for joining us this week again on our Live Girl History Talk. If you get nothing else from this lesson, the big takeaway I want everyone to get is the fact that stereotyping is never okay. And it can really end up hurting somebody's feelings. So if you happen to see something like that happen in your daily life, Always remember to live brave and speak up because we always want to be supportive of each other no matter what. Girls support girls.